Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to make these little makeup remover pads. And these pads are a great idea because if you use 100% um, cotton you can just shove them in the wash and reuse them. So really environmentally friendly compared to throwaway makeup pads. Um, yeah, like I said I used 100% cotton and I've used an Aran weight cotton and that's a worsted weight. Um, cotton so that's a yarn weight of four and for this video I'm going to be using a white and an alternative color I'm going to use green this time and we're going to be using a five millimeter H hook crochet hook and it's a good idea to have a pair of scissors and of course a yarn needle for tying in those ends as well okay so let's begin we're going to start off with the green to begin because you want to end on white um, but of course you can use any yarn that you like um, yarn weight that you like and a hook that's suitable for that yarn you're using and you can use any colors you like we're going to start off with green and the first thing to do is we're going to work eight single crochet into a magic circle now if you've never heard of the magic circle or magic ring I've done a video in more detail on this technique, so I'll put, a, I'll put a link in that description to that video, which shows it much slower. And it also explains why I do this little dummy stitch as well to begin. So we're going to do eight single crochet in a magic circle. So that's one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then we're just going to pull our tail end, which brings in the center hole. And then we're going to uh, slip stitch into our first single crochet but when we slip stitch into our first single crochet and because we did our little dummy stitch it makes this first stitch a lot easier to see so I'm just going to put our hook into that first single crochet and instead of yarning over with the green we're going to yarn over with the next colour so in this case it's white Bring that through. Like so. And now we're working with the white yarn, like so. So by the end of that round, you should have eight single crochet. Then we're going to do two single crochet in the next stitch. So working with your white now, we go into the next stitch and do two single crochet. So that's one. Then go back into the same stitch and do another single crochet. So you've got two in there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to chain two, one and two. And then we skip one and we do two single crochet in the next stitch. So skip one, then two single crochet in the next stitch. So that's one and another one in the same stitch and then we do the same again we chain two one and two chain two skip one and then two single crochet in the next stitch that's one and another one in the same stitch Okay. Then the same again, we chain two, one and two, skip one and two single crochet in the next stitch. One and another one in the same stitch. Like so, and then we chain two, one and two, and then what we want to do is we want to slip stitch in that first 
single crochet. What we do is we put our hook in that first single crochet that we did, but instead of yarning over with the white, we're going to yarn over with the other colour, so the green in this case. So yarn over with the green and bring that through both loops and just pull the, the white down like so. So show by the end of round two should look a little something like that, almost like a little cross in the middle. Now what we're going to do is we're going to chain three. One, two, three. And then we're going to skip those two single crochets that we did there. And in the two chain space over here, when we did those two chains in between, we're going to work two single crochet. So chain three, then go into the next stitch, uh, into the next, into the next two chain space, that first two chain space, and do two single crochets. So that's one, then go back into that two chain space and do another single crochet, like so. And then what we're going to do is we're going to chain three again. One, two, three. Then skip those two white single crochets. Then in the next two chain space, we put our hook for that big gap and do another two single crochet. One and another one in the next in the same two chain space. Oh, I think I'm tired today. What I'm talking about? Then chain three again. One, two, three, and skip the next two single crochet and find that next two chain space and in that space you're just putting it through the big gap do another two single crochet one and two and then chain three one two three skip those two single crochet and in that last two chain space put our hook do two single crochet again one and two. Then all we need to do is slip stitch into our first chain that we did at the very beginning of the round. And again, instead of yarning over with the green, we're going to bring back the white and yarn over with the white instead. And bring that through that loop and then for the loop on the hook. Just pull the tail ends tight. So you go. By the end of round three, you should look a little something like that. And then moving on to the last round, now we're working with our white again. You'll see you've got a three chain space now at the very beginning and in there we're going to do three single crochet. So just put your hook straight into that big three chain space and then do three single crochet, just wrapping it around those chains. So one, two and another one, three single crochet in there. And then we're going to chain three. One, two, three. And we're going to skip those two single crochet. And then in the next three chain space we do another three single crochet. One, two, three. Like so. And then we chain three. One, two, three. When we skip the next two single crochet, in the next three chain space we do another three single crochet. One, two, and three. And we chain three again. One, two, three. Skip those two green single crochet. In the next three chain space we do another three single crochet. One, Two and three. And to finish we just chain three. One, two, three. And then we slip stitch in our first single crochet. There we go. Like so. And then we just trim. Oops. Trim the white and the green. Then pull your 
hook through and there's your finished little makeup pad and all we need to do now is tie in our ends so tie in our ends we we'll just first of all pull them make sure they're all nice and tight uh, if I show you the, the last one thread it onto our yarn needle and then I just go through the same stitch again for a single crochet to the back pull that nice and tight and then just hide the tail end in similar coloured yarn thread it through and then thread it back again slightly over and then you can just trim the excess off. So there we go, I'm just going to do the same for the other three tail ends and then I shall come back. And there we go, there's our little finished makeup pad and uh, with our little cross inside. So I've just tied in the tails on the back and these can join our other little crosses as well. So there we go, I hope you found uh, that tutorial useful, something a bit different. I hope you managed to follow along, I hope it made sense. <laughs> I feel a bit tired today. Um, but I will see you soon for some more crochet fun. Cheers for watching guys, bye!